ABC Sports presents... In its silver anniversary season... Live, the Professional Bowlers Tour. This afternoon from sunny California, we bring you the $125,000 Greater Los Angeles Open. In fifth place, looking for his first championship title, Pete McCordick. With a record of 47 wins and 34 losses, making his 50th appearance in the television finals, Wayne Webb. In third place from Gothenburg, Sweden, and the first foreign resident to win a national PBA title, Matt Carlson. In the number two position, an exciting left-hander looking for his second win, John Gant. 1984, NCAA All-American at Cal Berkeley, making his television debut, our tournament leader, Ricky Corona. That's our field today for the Greater Los Angeles Open here on ABC Sports. It is always a pleasure to return to Southern California in Torrance, as a matter of fact, for the Greater Los Angeles Open, because for the tenth time, we have returned to the Gable House. And I guess a good reason we like it here so much is the Kogan family right behind me. I'll talk about them a little bit later. but. You must remember that our first three stops, two of the winners were first-time winners on the Professional Bowlers Tour. There are two bowlers today in our field of five that have that same opportunity to win their very, very first. What type of conditions will I be bowling on today? Well, what better way to find out than go down on the lanes and right there on his right knee is Nelson Burton, Jr., Bo. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> You're correct. The continuing story of the Young Lions taking over the professional bowlers tour also continues here in Torrance. But what has changed here in Torrance is the lane condition that the players have played on over the years. Historically, championship pair 13 and 14 here at Gable House has been a pair of lanes where the right-handers were forced to play between the second and third arrows. We had some very low scores, but the management here made a major change. They came in, they had a crew come in and completely resurface this lane surface. Now the lanes are very smooth and very playable from almost any angle. We have the left-hander, John Gant, playing around the third arrow on the left side. Some of the right-handers are playing the second arrow. Some have even opted for the first arrow. So we've had the highest scoring tournament of the four we've had so far this year, and I think the action will continue that way again today, Chris. Some super scores. They're ready for match play. All right. Thank you very much, Bo. And we're ready for our very first game here at Gable House. And a uh, many-time winner, in fact, 16 titles, we have Wayne Webb, who will go against Pete McCordick. And also on today's telecast, uh, following ABC's Wide World of Sports Men's Downhill World Championship from Switzerland. What excitement. That is a creme de creme of all of skiing. World Cup Gymnastics Championships. And that will be coming from Beijing, Peking, China. That's all today on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Here's a handshake now, which means that match number one will be getting underway. Webb in his 50th television appearance will watch Pete McCarty looking for his very first win, shooting on the left lane of the championship pair, which Bo described to you a moment ago. Weeks average 224, Houston, Texas. with his wife looking on here at Gable House in Torrance. He has opened uh, in the perfect way. Now Wayne Webb, bowling out of Indianapolis, Indiana, native of Massachusetts. Unusual style, Nelson. Wayne Webb uh, started bowling as a junior bowler, but Chris, you're right, he has developed that low swing style of his. Wayne Webb used to hold the ball waist high, but he felt more comfortable holding it down by his side, and that kept his arm swing much straighter. As you see him drive through the line, ending up about 18 inches behind the foul line, slightly off balance on that shot, has left himself a relatively easy spare, the 2-4. Bill Webb marking with a spare, the 29-year-old, who last year reached the TV Finals three times without a victory. which didn't, of course, make him happy because this is a tough competitor. 
16 titles in a 12-year PBA career. McCordick, who marked with a strike in the first frame. Shooting now in the second. The winner of this match will meet Mats Carlson from Gothenburg, Sweden, then John Gant of Independence, Kentucky, and Ricky Corona, like McCordick, a non-winner. with the style that he's developed over the years is almost a textbook style. Four-step delivery, slightly higher than shoulder arm swing. Extended follow-through right towards the target. Off to a good start with two strikes. Could extend his lead over Wayne Webb to 20 pins with a third strike here in the third frame. McCordick, who was on television three times last year without a win, and today the winner will get 18,900 runner-up, 7, 5,500, and the loser of this match we're watching right now, $4,500. Webb now looking, hoping to double third frame right lane. A two-pin. Once again, Wayne Light on the right-hand lane. And what you have to watch with Wayne Webb is you see his ball sliding by the head pin. Gets a good break as he leaves only the two pin, a simple spare. As Wayne Webb is dropping his right shoulder more than he ever has in the earlier part of his career. And I think that's the, the reason he's had, he hasn't had a, a good year in the last year and a half. Wayne Webb on this championship pair. Uh, crossed it twice, averaged 241, McCordick 206, and Wayne was one of four who shot perfect 300 games here during the week. Watch Wayne Webb's eyes as he lines up. He looks down to see where he should mark on the approach. Then watch his eyes as he picks up his uh, two spots in the lane. There's the early one, then down the lane, then back to the other one. Good movement. Wayne Webb, 60 through the third with a strike up in the fourth, trailing by 20 pins. We're in our very first match on the Professional Bowlers Tour. We'll be back. When you start something good, everyone wants a piece of it. Take light beer for Miller. Now there's lots of light beers out there saying they're less filling. Heck, that was the easy part. The hard part is brewing a light beer that tastes great. That's why light's always brewed only with the finest ingredients. To let all that great beer taste come through for guys like you and me. The taste that's made light beer for Miller, America's favorite light beer. Hey, I always thought it was easy opening cans. <laughs> Enter the $50,000 Firestone Tournament of Champions sweepstakes and you could win a trip to the Tournament of Champions where you'll be paired with one of the five finalists. And if he wins, you win up to $25,000. Come to Firestone for your sweepstakes entry form, which is also an instant winner card. And everybody's a winner. You could win a free Mastercare tune-up, alignment, shocks, brakes, discount coupons, and more. Enter the Tournament of Champions sweepstakes at Firestone today. You could win a trip to the tournament and up to $25,000 cash. Look, they're my parents, and I tell you, they're acting different. I mean, they go dancing. Herbert and Jane dancing. I know, Mother thinks it's fun. She wears eye makeup now. I don't know what's gotten into them. Hmm, whose is this? Mm. Why don't they act their age? To help them get more out of life, people are eating better. Some have found Kellogg's Product 19, 100% of 12 vitamins and minerals. Feel good about yourself. Tennis? They don't play tennis. Feel like 19 again. Here is a most prolific non-winner on the Professional Bowlers Tour. Pete McCordick of Houston, Texas, 33-year-old, father of two, who has three in a row, now shooting in the fourth frame, can increase his lead to 30 pins. That's four. 
in 14 previous championship round experiences as you see wife Susie looking on liking the action so far Peter perfect through four frames Pete McCordick has only won one match in 15 attempts he's one in 14 but he has a uh, a new year under his belt and he really really looks sharp he practiced very hard in November and December is perfect through four frames at five now for Pete McCarvick. He and Susan have two sons as we get a replay of that shot. The action of the two pin, it drives to the sideboard, taking out the four and seven pins, and that's one of the big reasons the scores have been so high at the Gable House. You're rewarded with a strike almost every time you hit the pocket. Cutting the lead to uh, 30 pins. We asked uh, Wayne earlier that he predicted in 1980 he'd be the bull of the decade. How's he doing? Well, in 1986, I had a real bad year. It humbled me. It, it made me work a lot harder. In the last six months, I've been working real hard, practicing 20 games a day. Now things seem like they're coming around. I'm working on my spares, and I'm starting to bowl real good again. Okay, Wayne, he has two, uh, two spares already in this match, a double up now shooting in the sixth frame. Getting some consistency now, Bo, isn't he? Right, Chris, nobody has lost a pocket hit. The two shots that didn't strike so far today were shots by Wayne Webb in both the first and third frames he hit light. He's been rewarded with four strikes, but he still trails this man by 20 pins, who is perfect through five. Now he has six. Six more, and it's $100,000. McCordick, uh, we asked him earlier about a New Year's resolution. Well, this New Year's, I just decided to forget all my, uh, the past that wasn't successful and remember what was, just start over. Uh, Jack Bianalillo said to say or think of heaven in 87, so that's my theory and goal for this year. Jack Bianalillo, one of three to shoot perfect 300 games on ABC. Make it seven in a row. What a match. McCordick and Webb. We're going to take a pause and be back for more. Why do 32 million Americans protect their engines with Quaker State motor oil? Because they're car-caring people who want only the best for their engines. Here, Quaker State quality stands up to the constant pounding heat and friction that breaks down motor oil. You can see Quaker State quality, the pure protection that comes from our state-of-the-art formula that can't be beat. Tomorrow is homecoming, and this campus will be filled with parents. But today, Jane's dad is coming home with a bad case of diarrhea. I feel so weak. Oh, let's get you into bed. Tomorrow's homecoming. You won't miss it. The one he needs is Pepto-Bismol. As it copes, it soothes heartburn and upset stomach, as well as diarrhea. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> oh, me too, honey. Pepto-Bismol, the one that copes, is the only one you need. Same day coverage of the men's downhill world championship. Also women gymnastics greats. Plus an America's Cup special on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Next. Okay, don't miss today's Wide World of Sports. Three parts and three exciting parts. And we have excitement here in Torrance, California live. Wayne Webb trailing by 40. He has three in a row. Shooting in the seventh frame. His opponent has seven in a row. Our first match. Still 30 pins, although he has strung four. The release of Wayne Webb, one of the great wrist actions in the sport. Look at that hand snap right around the ball, importing it, imparting an end-over-end roll. And watch it take the bite at the back end. All 10 pins in the pit. He trails by 30. Don't ever count this young competitor out. Tough, tough.
tough, tough. He's determined he'll keep the pressure on McCordick. What happens there is Wayne Webb puts a lot of uh, rosin on his thumb, and occasionally when he rocks from that down position, his thumb slips slightly. Good move to stop. Reset yourself. A lot of players, even the league bowlers, uh, not concentrating enough to stop an errant shot. Mm -hmm. Good move. And could smile even. Five in a row for Wayne Webb. The power of Webb's ball. All ten pins in a pit. And does he like it? Let's watch. Okay, now in the lanes, the right lane with seven in a row, shooting in the eighth frame. Four to go. Chris, last week we saw our tournament winner. Kent Wagner start with a string of eight strikes in a row before being stopped by a seven pin in the ninth frame. Once again, I'll tell you what, Pete McCorry's got a great shot at this as his wife looks on because he's pressed. He still needs strikes to win the match. Mm -hmm. It's not a cakewalk. Wayne Webb still has a possible 270 game. So McCorry doesn't have this locked up by any means. Ninth frame. Susan McCartick. And while I'm dying to give away, True Value is $100,000. Ed Langto and Dan Cotter quaking probably back in Chicago. <laughs> Webb's still in the match, though. He must continue to strike. High hit, leaving the nine. Great strength for Wayne Webb as he had spare in the first and third frame, strung five strikes in a row. Looks like an apparent spare here in the ninth frame. The best he can do would be 249. Normally a winning score in anybody's match, but not today as his opponent, Pete McCording, has a chance for a perfect game. Wayne hasn't won a title since capturing back-to-back -back tournaments in, on the tour in 1985 when he won a light bear championship in Milwaukee in the Fairlanes Open in Baltimore, matching his 50th <clears throat> appearance on TV. And here's McCordick. What is going through that young man's mind? And now, um, a man who has never won a championship on the PBA Tour. Chris, I'll bet you there's many a player who has won a national title would love to have the 300 that McCordick has a shot at right now than any one of those championships. What an opportunity coming up in just a minute. As we mentioned, Wayne Webb had one of the four 300s during the week. The best games for McCordick, uh, when you're looking, there's life on the left, Susan, 288 and 279. Some of the other 300 rollers this week, Mike Alvey, Ron Palumbi, and Rod Pasteur. Four perfect games. Wayne Webb can credit himself with 249 with another strike. Just not enough. Big 249 for a man from Rehoboth, Massachusetts, now bowling out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And here we are now. Nine in a row needs three more. Now he needs two and one hundred thousand dollars. Pete McCordick. A great arm swing. He loses the ball slightly on the downswing. You see a ball only about three or four inches over the foul line, but direction is 95% of the sport. Solid in the pocket. The last player to stand in this position I can remember, Chris, was Johnny Petraglia. He had 11 in a row before finishing with 298. And I asked John 
what went through your mind? He says, I went blank. The pressure was so much. Well, look at Pete shaking. Ten in a row. One more. Ladies and gentlemen, just one more. And that couple, the McCordicks of Houston, Texas, will be $100,000 richer. Well, we gave away $100,000 in the U.S. Open just four weeks ago to another Texan, Del Ballard Jr., Pete McCordick, Bowling Immortality. Is that a sight, Bo? Within his grasp, one more strike. 1974, Jim Stefanich was the last time. All right, here it is. Right lane. She can't talk either, I don't think. I don't know. How about those two young sons that are back oh, in the wings? Geez. They're in the uh, they're in the nursery watching. I I know Patrick's probably old enough to understand how uh, excited I am. What a thrill! Jeez, I was just. How heavy was that last ball on the shot? Well, but the last three, the tenth one, I think my knees buckled on about the third step. Then the eleventh shot, I felt really good with it. And the twelfth one, I just wanted to throw it and just pray that all of them went down. I don't I don't even know how I made the shot. Harry Golden, our tournament director all these years. Harry, uh, you're an old hand at this a little bit. Well, I haven't bowled 300, but what an exciting time. And Pete, congratulations on becoming the first bowler in 15 years to bowl a perfect game on our championship round. On behalf of the, the people at True Value Hardware Stores, we'd like to present you with this check for $100,000. Thank you so much. Thank you, Harry. What a thrill. What a thrill. This is uh, it's amazing. All right. Let's, uh, let's go back and replay the last shot, Susan and Pete. Look at a monitor over here. Here it is. Uh, can you tell me shaking there? I don't know. I thought I, I might have gotten a little bit inside, but I felt like I got through the shot pretty good. And uh, I just was, was hoping they all went down. I, thought, I knew it was solid about 45 feet. I knew it was going to be solid in the pocket. Profile view that Bo always talks about, and your reaction? I just, uh, like I said, at first I thought I got it in a little bit, and then uh, when they all went down, I just I knew what, what it meant. Aren't you glad you made the trip from Houston? I sure am. <laughs> what more can we say? There's nothing like perfection, Pete. I missed the other three on ABC off on other assignments. So it's a thrill for me, too. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now i got to bowl three more games. That's right. Okay, we'll be back with more action after this. The Professional Bowler's Tour is brought to you by Miller Lite. For great taste, there's only one light beer. By Quaker State Motor Oil. Quaker State people reaching for the best. And by Pepto-Bismol. Coats, soothes, and relieves. Pepto-Bismol. For most common stomach discomfort. The Professional Bowlers Tour will continue after this message and a word from our local stations. This is the place you come to for everything you're looking for. This is the place that lands a helping hand. Ace is the place for Amarok deadbolt and entry locks, just five forty-four dollars each. Ace is the place. An Ace Clean Sweep Corn Broom for $2.99. And Ace Label Kitchen Trash Bags for just $1.57. Ace is the place with the help of hardware land. Oh, fellas. 
Look here, fellas. Let's do one for Mr. Seagram. Now, look here, Mr. Seagram. You sound like my kind of guy, yay. You make that? Seagram's golden wine cooler. And you make it wet and dry. Oh, now, Mr. Seagram. You're my kind of guy, huh? My kind of guy, huh? spacious skies. America, beginning Sunday, February 15th. Behold the Isuzu Pup, the lowest price truck in America. About $6. Buy a pup now and you can get 3.9% financing or 500 pounds of bananas. Why, I saved enough money to buy this island and all the fish. Penumeli, Kiki Bobo. Hurry, 3.9% financing or $500 rebate offer ends soon. Diet Coke and Diet Sprite want to take you on a cruise. Hooey, hooey, baby, hooey, hooey, baby, hooey, hooey, baby. Won't you let us take you on a sea cruise? Enter the Diet Coke, Diet Sprite, taste the good life sweepstakes, and win a Norwegian Caribbean line cruise. Look for details at participating stores. Diet Coke and Diet Sprite with 100% NutraSweet say, Won't you let us take you on a sea cruise? Watch Ask Dr. Ruth, weekdays at 9 on WHTM. Here's the man that made match number run in Torrance, California spectacular. A perfect 300 game. Only the fourth in 25 years of television on ABC. 300 for Pete McCormick and $100,000. Wayne Webb with a big 249 and needless to say, not enough. It all began way back. Let's remember when. 1961, it's only the third edition of ABC's Wide World of Sports and the Professional Bowlers Tour's first telecast. Pat Patterson faces Roy Long in the semifinal. Fred Wolf and Jim McKay reported the action that day. Bowling tournament in the history of the game. He's on the strike. He can make a wild pitch here if he wants to and still get his spare. That's it. That's it. And the winner is Roy Long from El Paso, Texas in the most dramatic finish of any PBA tournament in the history of the game. After winning the two-frame roll-off against Pat Patterson, Roy went on to defeat Rich Robinette in the championship round, taking home the richest purse in the young PBA's history. But it was this exciting match that led the PBA Winter Tour to be covered nationally by ABC Sports. Well, that was the way it all started back then. Mats Carlson now of Gothenburg, Sweden, goes against the man that is $100,000 richer because of his perfect 300 game and bow. His name goes with Jack Biondolil, Johnny Gunther, and Jim Stefanich. Well, I thought it wouldn't happen for a long time. I knew we had the talent out here, Chris, but uh, Pete McCourty couldn't have happened to a better, more experienced player out here, one of the best-like players on the tour. Now he goes against Mats Carlson from Sweden. Second match of the day. Beautiful opening strike. Uh, the winner of one tournament, fourth year in the PBN. Let's see just what Pete McCordick does after that 300 game and 100,000, his first shot in match number two. by round. 18 games of qualifying this week. Wayne Webb, the early leader. Mark McDowell, the rookie of the year, took over the lead. McCormick, McCordick was up there, faltered a little bit in the sixth round of 24-game uh, match play, but now he's in the driver's seat for the whole tournament, really. All right. Pete McCordick. Career earnings, 378000 As we said, he was a prolific non-winner. And then just today, thus far, he's going to add more. 
They ought to give him a title just for that 300, Chris. <laughs> I think so. That we'll give him the Burton Shankel title. <laughs> that was great. Let's see if he can get it back. Still a lot of money to be won today. All right. Sparing a strike for the perfect man today, Pete McCordick. And this native of Sweden opened with a strike shooting in the second frame. Mats Carlson, a fingertip grip, uses those white finger inserts that many of the players find popular. Stretches his index finger out on the ball, sights over that index finger carefully. Not a real power player, he just keeps it in play. Nice, smooth delivery. All right, two strikes for Carlson. Let's replay that last shot. Mott's just has a tremendous push away. He starts the ball very quickly and then kind of chases after the bowling ball. Has a good slide, good direction. You see he picks his head up and he spots very close to the foul line. He's perfect through two frames. And by the way, if somebody else would bowl another perfect game, we would give away another $100,000. Meticulous in the way he lines up. Looks down on the approach, sets himself on the boards. Looks to see his ball is properly set in his hand right there. Now to the target out on the lane, approximately seven feet past the foul line. Now the shot. Oh, with the bucket now, two, four, five, eight on the left lane. The man that missed several weeks of the winter tour to return to Sweden to be with his wife at the birth of a son. Mott's with that figure eight on the backswing. They just conventional release right up the back of the ball, just a medium roll, just a pinch too hard on that shot, leaves the two, four, five, and eight, a tough spare. And that gray bowling ball. Did the job on those four pins. Spare in the third. Now, the 300 man. If you just join us, you missed a perfect 300 game by Pete McCordick in our first match, defeating Wayne Webb. Uh, that perfect score, Webb with a 249. Once again, McCordick slightly high on the right-hand lane, the lane that he finished on in the perfect game he just rolled. Now what happened here is the ball breaks just a pinch high, two pin goes the sideboard, knocking out the seven, not to be the four pin. Pete McCordick now must make an adjustment on this lane. What has happened, he has rolled so many balls through that strike zone around the first arrow that he's worn off some of the conditioner. The lane's hooking a little more. A one-board adjustment should do it. Pete McCordick, winner of today's title, Greater Los Angeles Open, will receive a check for 18000 The loser of this match will pick up $5,500. So it's important... If it happens to be McCormick, it'll help pay the income tax on that 100000 that he just won. <laughs> little relief in the face and body of Pete McCormick after getting his first, the second strike in the second match. Jellyfish swims faster than that. Not with a clogged nose like this. Oh, try this. Sidex, I need help now. You got it. Hit this when you feel it. One second. With Sinex Vapors, you feel better in one second. Plus, it's strong decongestant. Keeps you breathing. Breathing free for hours. And you're going to need it for hours. Whoa! Sinex, regular or long-lasting. Feeling better is a second away. From Vicks, of course. Pete Rose just got tough. Because now I use Tegrin medicated shampoo. Head and shoulders, not tough enough. Tegrin's four times tough on all four major causes of flaking and itching. Get four times tough with Tegrin. Guess what thousands of doctors are recommending for women who need extra calcium? Tums. Surprised? It's true. Tums isn't just a great antacid. It's also rich in calcium. Tums, tums, tums. Happy anniversary, Pro Bowlers Tour on ABC. The celebration continues with the $150,000 Baker State Open next Saturday on ABC Sports.
Mats Carlson shooting the fifth frame. <laughs> Leaving him solid eight after striking in the fourth frame while we were away because of slow play. We have to bowl through. A solid eight. The first time a player today has not been rewarded with a strike when he put the ball in the 1-3 pocket. One of the elements necessary for high scores naturally is good carry, good lane condition we have here today, and of course some of the greatest talent ever to step on a bowling lane. So it's beautiful to watch Mats Carlson. So is ABC's Wide World of Sports today, Bo. Men's Downhill World Championship. Same day coverage. Also, women's gymnastics. World Cup gymnastics from China and a report on America's Cup. Excitement. Okay, the man who bowled a perfect 300 game a little earlier has doubled now and uh, takes a four pin lead. Chris, he's made the adjustment on the right hand lane and Pete McCordick is doing something I haven't seen done successful very successful very often. He is using a one ball in the right-hand lane and switching to another ball in the left-hand lane. He just threw a strike with the ball that just returned, grabbed another one off the rack, and he's up again on the left. Tough to do. <laughs> he has the fans with him today, naturally. The head pin goes to the sideboard, drops out, drives out the two four, five, but doesn't quite get the eight. The machine has to wait at least four seconds before it comes in play. It does that. Once again, Pete McCordick is only his third spare to shoot today. All right, Susan McCordick who will watch along with you, her husband with 12 strikes in a row and a perfect 300 game. Carlson, who owns two pro shops over in Europe, one in Sweden and one in Norway. He still maintains those while competing on the American tour. Tells me he pays the money that he wins in the United States, goes for U.S. taxes. European money stays in Europe. There's the man that's won every major European title, which gave us an opportunity earlier to ask him the difference between European and United States bowling. The league system is uh, completely different. We bowl uh, eight guys on eight pairs instead of five men on one pair. Uh, and that makes the pace a little different. Uh, we don't get at those, I mean, you don't bowl as fast as you do over here. Well, Bo, you have uh, bowled in Europe. What about it? Well, that's their league style, and the amateurs use that, uh, Chris. When the pros have bowled over in Europe or over in Japan or anywhere, we still bowl the same style we use here in the United States. The the format of qualifying, then match play, and then, of course, the championship round, as we see here today. All right. Mons Carlson leading by seven pins in the second match. We'll return. Forget everything you know about shaving and get ready for the extraordinary. Extra Rich Edge Gel with more rich moisturizers and 40% more lubricants than the leading foam. So you get down where you want to be. Close and feel good about it. Smooth, comfortable Edge Gel. It's not your ordinary shave. Try fragrance-free Edge Gel, a formula recommended by dermatologists. When I played football, they called me a troublemaker. But really, I'm just a nice guy who likes to watch a game with a Miller Lite. I see you're drinking light, too. Yeah, it tastes great. I agree. But he drinks it because it's less filling. It tastes great. Did you hear that? It's less filling. Pretty strong words. It tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great! Less filling! Tastes great! Less filling. There's no argument. There's only one light beer. Miller Lite. Is that a light beer you're drinking? Yeah, it tastes great. I agree, but that's not what he said. They are the top players in the league, and they're ready to square off in the NFL finale. Tomorrow, live, it's the AFC-NFC Pro Bowl on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Okay, the Pro Bowl tomorrow from Hawaii. We're in Torrance, California on a sunshiny day. Here's the man that shot a perfect 300 game in our first match and won $100,000.
And right here, a tough match against Mats Carlsen from Sweden with a strike in the seventh frame. And here you go with the trajectory of Pete McCordick. He's using a shiny ball in the right-hand lane, trying to hold down his hook. He makes an adjustment for the two shots that went high in the first and third frames. Knocks all ten pins in the pit. Now on the left-hand lane, as he comes up here in the eighth frame, leading trailing by seven, he's using a dull ball, which will bite the lane surface a little more, hook a little more. And if he can make it strike, he'll have the lead. Crossing over, leaving the 6-10. You know, Pete was so nervous at the start, waiting for his wife to arrive from the airport. Well, he's had a ner nervous couple of hours as you see the ball go a little high, leave the 6-10s. Susie, how can they even be nervous, Chris? All they got to worry about is getting that 100000 in the bank. I'll tell you, Susie looks like a competitor, too. Yes, she does. And as we see Pete McCourt waiting, McCordick waiting for something to be cleared, I can't see it from this angle. There must be a pin in the channel, Chris, that we cannot see. But all pins must be cleared from the playing area, so obviously there's something in the right-hand channel that's forcing him to wait to make this conversion on the 6-10. ABC's College Football Live at 2 Eastern tomorrow, live from Auburn, Alabama. It's the University of Las Vegas, the University of Nevada, basketball, the round ball, without any holes in it, Nelson, and that should be a real match. Ooh, ooh. Lost it and left the six and open frame in the eighth. Okay, to explain that frame, what happened is the machine set the six pin off, as we saw a fellow get down there and put the six pin back on spot. McCordick does not gauge the proper amount of hook across lane. He slides right by the 610. He has left the six pin standing and has found himself in arrears by 19. Mats Carlson has two strikes working coming up here in the eighth. He can extend his lead to 29. He does just that. Mott's using about the same trajectory as Pete McCordick, a little bit more towards the second arrow, drives all 10 pins in the pit. He looks very sharp, can really put our 300 player Pete McCordick in trouble here with another strike in the ninth frame. That would extend his lead to 39 pins. He would be going at a 239 pace. The best, 236, the best that McCordy can do is 217. Big shot for both players right here. Runner up in 1984, rookie of the year to John Gant. And the winner of this match will meet John Gant. Four in a row for Carlson from Gothenburg, Sweden, the home of Boxer Ingemar Johansson. Who gave boxing fans in the heavyweight division many a thrill. McCordick must strike. Cannot win if he doesn't strike in the next three five shots. Well, Bo, you mentioned uh, boxing thrills by Johansson. Well, I did all those fights, but I think the 300 was more exciting today. I agree. Now watch this pin come from the right-hand part of your screen, slide all the way over. It's the three pin, slides over, hits the four pin, almost knocks it out. Would have been a, a redeeming shot for Pete McCordick not to be. He's going to take home his $100,000, though. And he can uh, add 5500 to it, which will help. Not a bad paycheck. We go along with the 6,550 he's already earned this year. He will take over the leading money winner role on the professional bowler tour. Good point. <laughs> Meanwhile, left-hander John Gant continues to warm up because he will meet the winner. And then the tournament leader, looking for his first title, Ricky Corona, from the Oakland, California area. According to just finishing up, the best he can bowl is 207. Mats Carlson going at a 236 pace. It's going to be Carlson and Gant in the semifinal match. 
Buy the 300 happened here at Gable House, which is owned by Jack Cogan. His son, Mickey, is the general manager, and the older son is Kevin Cogan, Indy car driver. What a family. There's Kevin in the center, Jack, the dad on the right, and Mickey, uh, who manages Gable House. So it's a 2.06 to go along with a perfect 300 game for Pete McCartick of Houston, Texas. Mats Carlson just going through the motions right now. He has a potential 256. All right, there is your winner. He'll meet John Gann. Let's join Nelson Burton Jr. and learn more about bowling. Here is an important tip for all of you. The Professional Bowlers Tour Tip of the Week is brought to you by Old Spice Deodorant and Antiperspirant Deodorant. We give 24-hour protection. In lesson number one, we showed you how to find your proper starting position on the approach. In lesson two, we showed you the approach, the release, and the follow-through. In lesson three, we showed you how to adjust your strike position on the approach and on the lane to get the ball in the pocket. Now, lesson four will take you through the spares. There's two basic types of spares, one when the head pin is standing and one when it's been knocked down. First, when it's standing, simply move five boards to the right on the approach from your original strike position on the approach. One, two, three, four, five. Use the same target you were using for your strike ball. Here I have the one, two, four combination. I'll show you how it works. The second type of spares we run into are head pin down spares. There's a very simple rule, only one thing you have to remember, and that's use the third arrow from the right-hand channel as your target on the lane for all of these spares. For instance, I have the seven pin standing. Look at the seven pin. Draw an imaginary line to the third arrow. Look where you're standing. Face the target and walk towards your intended spare, for instance, the seven pin, and roll a simple straight ball over that target. Watch this. There you have it, our four lessons. I'm sure they'll help you. We've worked on your starting position, the proper approach and release, how to find your strike line every day, and finally, how to make all your spares. To know no boundaries, to let yourself run. is there with the help you need to make the most of them because at Merrill Lynch we believe your world should know no boundaries. To know no boundaries. Two of the nation's top teams square off when the running rebels of UNLV take on the fighting Tigers of Auburn. They'll meet on ABC's college basketball tomorrow. And the up four coming stops is uh, Quaker State Open down in Grand Prairie, Texas. Then the Miller Lite Classic kicks off the Million Dollar Miller Challenge. If a player can win all three of those, he will pick up a million dollars. Then we over to Venice, Florida for the Bowler's Journal Venice Open at Rafi Curion's place. Then up to Peoria, Chris, one of your favorite spots, the True Value Open in Peoria. They also just gave away $100,000. Now here's the demographics of this field, 160 players. All the players average 210, 220 average, the highest of the year to top 24. Here's some of your other favorite players that did make the cut this week. Albee, Stay Rock, two lefties up there. Steve Martin, steady. A new Davis heard from, a powerful right-hander from Dallas. Del Warren, defending champion. Jaros in there, Rod Pasteur. Parker Bowen the third. I love that name. All-world Holman up there. Dave Ferraro, a new champ. The Wizard of O's up there. Scoring Warren Nelson. Mark McDowell, watch that name. He's tough. Big, powerful Jim Pensack. Dave Houston, Tim Weisbrod. Randy Lightfoot up there again. Kent Wagner, our showboat winner. And Pete McCordick, who was replaced by Purvis Granger because of a, of a wrist injury to round out the top 25. And here's that flight board, and look at the bottom. McCordick 300. That's right. 12 strikes in a row, a perfect 300 game. And Bo mentioned the True Value Open in Peoria. Well, it was True Value that put up that prize. And McCordick won it today, right here in Torrance, California, with a 300 to Wayne Webb's 249. 
Now we go into the semifinal match here in Southern California. John Gant moves in, the left-hander, going against Mats Carlson of Gothenburg, Sweden. Amazing how things work out. Here you have the man that finished second at the Indy 500 last year, Kevin Kogan, whose dad owns this establishment. In true value, they have owned a winning car at Indianapolis, and the 100,000 goes right here in front of us all to McCordick. Can't. One of 22 left-handers that started here. Five went into the final 24, and this is the man that emerged in the number two spot. One of the great young talents on the PBA Tour. Experienced, powerful, and has probably the most powerful strike ball combined with speed of any player in the PBA. Twenty-nine-year-old John Gant, who was the high average winner on the PBA's national tour, winning the George Young Memorial High Average Award, averaging 214.38. Mats Carlson taking his time, he studies his lanes very well. His best asset actually is his concentration, never gives up, takes his time, as long as he doesn't lock up by taking too much time. Okay, Carlson with a booming first frame strike, and there's Kevin Kogan, of whom we spoke, finishing second behind Bobby Rahal. And he's the winner of the 86 Phoenix 200, and uh, he'll be defending it April 12th, and ABC will be right there covering it live, first of six IndyCar races. Kevin Kogan, 30 years old, neat guy. Kevin started out in go-karts here in this area. Bo just shows you. Start them young, like in bowling, and they can become winners. Agreed. In fact, I was around go-karts this week. One of my very good friends, Tim Albin, is a go-kart buff in this area. He's up looking at his cars this week. All right, Mats Carlson. Opening with two strikes in his second match, having defeated McCordick 234 to 206. John Gant. Left-handed grip holds the ball by his side. Just a powerful, powerful young man. And there it stands, the seven. Ooh. Gant, who rolls the bowling ball approximately 20 miles an hour. I think Roth, Mark Roth used to be the fastest, but here the fellow that they call the buzzsaw, obviously by the way his ball chops up those pins, Rolls it a little faster than Roth as you see him snap that wrist through the ball. He left a solid seven. Conversion here, he would trail by 11. John, I practiced with him the first week up in Seattle, Tacoma area where we had the U.S. Open, and just a tremendous practicer. You couldn't hardly walk in the bowling establishment that was next door to the U.S. Open without seeing this young man working on his game. Once again, the high average player on the PBA Tour, well-deserved. Another one. Solid, nothing cheap about those seven pins. What happens with John Gant as he gets the ball in a good position, but watch the four pin as it drives right over the top of the seven. In this match, international flavor as Gant is bowling Mats Carlson of Sweden. And as it has so often in the past, wide world of sports has had an international flavor and certainly today, immediately following men's downhill world championship from Switzerland, the World Cup gymnastics, the women's all around, and a report from Australia, the America's Cup. K3 taking on Stars and Stripes, the women's gymnastics from China, and watch Doug Lewis from USA in the downhill. From Sweden, Carlson. <laughs> Left to 10 pen. The players on the tour call that the soft 10 as Mats reaches for another 
what we call a lower surface friction ball, something that doesn't hook very much, doesn't bite the surface so he can control it for the spares. The six pin does not quite get up to the what we call the center of the ten pin. That's the reason he left it. He would maintain his lead with this spare. So the stylist from Gothenburg, where we once covered the World Figure Skating Championships and the National Championships. Next week in Tacoma, live a week from today, the women's and what competition that will be. The National Figure Skating Championships, week from today on ABC Sports. Three strikes for Carlson, leading by 11. We'll be back. Most of the time, I smell pretty good. Deodorant under each arm, aftershave, cologne. Hey, the last thing I need in this job is body odor. But sometimes, in the heat of competition, things get a little close. I'm glad I use Safeguard every day. It's not just a cover-up. Safeguard helps protect against the bacteria that causes body odor. Plain soap can with Safeguard on my side, those little bacteria hardly stand a chance. Neither does the competition. This can happen to good bowlers on lanes with limited distance dressing or short oil. Short oil means oil out to here, 26 feet or less from the foul line. Short oil can make your ball react unpredictably, a big problem. Now, the solution from Ebonite, the new Firebolt SO, a urethane ball with a unique additive to make it roll long, hit hard, and not overreact on today's short oil conditions. Ebonite's new Firebolt SO is the solution to the problems of short oil. Happy anniversary, Pro Bowlers Tour on ABC. The celebration continues with the $150,000 Baker State Open next Saturday on ABC Sports. All right, next week, Grand Prairie, Texas. Look forward to that visit again, and while we were away, as we were running over our allotted time schedule, Gant doubling Carlson with a strike up shooting in the fifth frame. Can increase his lead to 11. solid in the pocket as he extends his lead to 11 pins. Mats Carlson is just chewing up the 1-3 pocket. He struck in the first and second, left the half 10 or soft 10 in the third. Once again, solid in the fourth and fifth frames, taking his time, watching, wiping the oil or conditioner off the ball surface, which is a good idea. You don't want that to build up on the ball. It could have an effect as it rolls down the lane. Setting himself carefully on the approach, he could extend his lead over John Gant to 21 with a third strike here in the sixth frame. Methodical and formful, Mats Carlson, three in a row, leading by 21, but one of the super competitors. High average man last year has a double up shooting in the sixth frame. Graduate of Cincinnati University and his wife, Dr. Beverly Timberling, a physician in the Cincinnati area watching. It's Dr. Beverly. John Gant, with all that power, he drives the head pin to the sideboard and it's going to roll around and almost carry the seven pin, but not to be. Watch the head pin as it goes to the sideboard, it comes straight across and almost carries the seven. There's the, the head pin in the corner. Come on, not to be. A lot of speed, precariously close to that channel on the left. His physician wife. John with a degree in education from the University of Cincinnati. Also disdained a tremendous baseball career. Had his fastball timed at 95 miles an hour, but because of his wife's continuing education, played Dr. Mom <laughs> and watched their young son. The lefty 
Gets a strike in the seventh frame. Really needed it. He's going against Red Hot Mats Carlson. More later. Enter the $50,000 Firestone Tournament of Champions sweepstakes and you could win a trip to the Tournament of Champions where you'll be paired with one of the five finalists. And if he wins, you win up to $25,000. Come to Firestone for your sweepstakes entry form, which is also an instant winner card. And everybody's a winner. You could win a free Mastercare tune-up, alignment, shocks, brakes, discount coupons, and more. Enter the Tournament of Champions sweepstakes at Firestone today. You could win a trip to the tournament and up to $25,000 cash. Once upon a time, millions of us roamed the bathrooms of America. We're bull shavers, convinced we had to use shavers with all kinds of expensive extras. But we don't pay an arm and a hoof anymore, because us bull shavers are becoming... Bic shavers. Bic gives us an extraordinary shave at an extraordinary price, without bells or whistles. To pay more makes you, well, bullheaded. Try the Bic for normal or sensitive skin, and you too will have a beef. With bull shaving. Witness the emotion-filled stories of families in conflict. The courtroom drama with a difference is... The this is his first shot, but he left the 3-6. Running behind our allotted time schedule, that's why we're bowling through. And, and I say fortunately, we're running behind because of one big reason. Pete McCardick of Houston, Texas, bowled a perfect 300 game, is $100,000 richer as a result. And the second man from Houston to bowl a 300 joins Jack beyond a little from that Texas town. Mots Carlson up in the eighth frame leads John Gant by 20 pins. Watch the high back swing and the turn of the hand of Mots Carlson. Up, turn, release. And last 300 game on TV, 1974, also in California, Alameda, California, Jim Stefanich. Here's a man the players call buzzsaw. We said before, because the way he chops up the pins, use the fingertip grip, you're going to see a lot of John Gant, one of the great talents on the PBA Tour. Can cut the lead of Carlson down to 10 pins. All right, John Gant. We uh, said to him earlier that he had improved in 86. And we asked him what the George Young Average Award, Memorial Average Award, meant to him. Well, to me, that's a great accomplishment. I, uh, I really didn't expect to win the award, but the fall, I had a good fall session, and I just happened to fall into that. But in 85, I had, a, I had a terrible year, and in 86, I started with a better mental attitude, and I worked harder in my game, and I just improved steadily over the year, and hopefully it carries over this year. All right, John, the voice of John Gant and the powerful strike from the left side. And Chris, you said we're running behind our allotted time. Agreed, Pete McCourty, a 300 game in the first match. But we have a chance to even get further behind in time because we have a potential of a tie, <laughs> as you can see, through nine frames. It is all even. Mots Carlson can take the lead with a strike here in the ninth. The fingertip grip, the stretch grip. The players out here call it the gorilla grip when you stretch that wide. The big danger is tendon injury to your to your wrist and your forearm. Here's to take the lead, ninth frame. Carlson, who won the last match over McCordick, the 300 shooter, 234 to 206. Watch the ball as it enters the one, three, hits the five and the nine pins. Just like you would diagram it. The ball actually only hits four pins when it strikes. It's the action of the four pins after they leave the ball that takes out the other six pins. That's the reason you need angle, speed, and spin on the ball or lift to drive them down. Carlson, for him, he could lock out John Gant with two more strikes. If he doesn't, Gant can win or we would have a tie, a possible tie game. sets up a real possibility of a tie game. Right now, Mots Carlson going at a 236 pace as the ball slides slightly high. The two pin goes to the sideboard, doesn't take out these four and seven pins. He wants it, he wants it. Not to be, has an easy spare to shoot. 
it's going to the last ball in this match. You see Mats Carlson looking to the left. That's the official scoreboard of the players being kept over to the side. With a strike, he would have 236. John Gant tying his shoe, making sure that nothing goes awry, as he must strike at least once and possibly twice to win this game in the 10th frame. Carlson, with a strike here, would force Gant to get at least one strike and nine to tie, two strikes to win. Seven on the left lane, a 235 for Mats Carlson. And watch how important this seven pin is. The ball enters the one three. Watch the action of the five pin. There it goes over towards the four seven. Remember that seven pin as John Gantz on the approach. He must strike on this ball. been a strike in anybody's book. It cost John Gant the match. So John will have to be happy with $7,000. Carlson has a chance for 18. We'll be back. Yeah, right there. Okay. Come on. Oh, hey, John. Kids know you're into their Rice Krispies. <laughs> Mrs. McCormick and Donnie come out and play. <laughs> what did you guys have? Good old-fashioned oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, good for your game oatmeal. Oh, guys, Kellogg's Rice Krispies beats oatmeal. Whoa, serious competition. It's higher in iron and eight major vitamins in your oatmeal. Ooh, that's two points for the Rice Krispies expert. Yeah, but does he know which one of these guys is Pop? Yeah. He's one of the great outside chefs. Pop, Snap, Pop, 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 Rice Krispies. Why do 32 million Americans protect their engines with Quaker State motor oil? Because they're car-caring people who want only the best for their engines. Here, Quaker State quality stands up to the constant pounding heat and friction that breaks down motor oil. You can see Quaker State quality, the pure protection that comes from our state-of-the-art formula that can't be beat. Witness the emotion-filled stories of families in conflict. The courtroom drama with a difference is The Judge. Weekdays at 5.30 on WHTM Channel 27. How's that made them? John, you clown. Come here, you. <laughs> You're early. Yeah, well, I this was in yours. Yeah, it is. 6,000 STE? You're kidding. What do you mean? My dad? A Pontiac 6,000? That's high-tech stuff. The fuel-injected V6, right? Yeah. Four-wheel disc brakes? Yeah. Got everything. Listen, come here. I know you've been hitting the books pretty hard. <laughs> so, uh, let's go for a ride. All right. <laughs> If bowling is your game, let Bowler Supply help you with great bowling balls like the Edge, Ebonite Gyro 1, the Brunswick LT 48, Colombian Yellow Dot, the Hammer, and shoes by Dexter, Hyde, and Brunswick. Every type of shoe for every type of bowler from amateur to pro. And accessories are available too, including bags and bowling aids for the bowlers. Bowler Supply, let them start your game off with a big, big strike. Watch the newlywed game weeknights at 7 on WHTM. As in previous years, uh, I answer some questions that we receive, and here's today's question. How does one become a PBA member? Simply this, 18 years of age, a 190 average in league or tournament plays 66 games minimum. Three references, naturally be a man. Application must be signed by three PBA members. And if you want to write me, and I'll try to answer your letter, here is the address. And now, with me, and with a super player, Chris Schenkel, Kevin Kogan. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Kevin. Well, thanks a lot. Next year, I think even more so than last year, we have a great crew on the Patrick Racing Team, and I think this car season of all time. You really feel very confident that you're going to be in that top spot. 
Well, I think that uh, we have a better chance than I've ever had. I think I'm driving better than, than I have in the past, and uh, we have a great group of guys with us now, so that really gives you a lot of confidence. And coming off a reasonable year last year, I think it's uh, it doesn't hurt either. You know, it, it gives us the extra confidence. Wasn't it fun to spend our mutual friend Dan Cotter's 100000 here? <laughs> I was glad you said that, because I was just going to say it was, it was fun to come here, but it was more fun to watch him spend $100,000. Well, the Kogans are having good luck this year, Kevin. Thank you. Now, Bo. Thank you, Chris. As you see, the route that we've taken so far today, Pete McCordick with a 300 game. McCordick going down to Carlson, 234 to 206. Once again, Carlson sneaking by a very tough John Gant sets up the final match. Ricky Corona against Matt's Carlson. One of these players will get a trip to the Firestone Tournament of Champions. The man that's knocked out after this match will be one of the great young players on the PBA Tour, Mark Baker. We're ready for the first shot. Mats Carlson, the first foreign player to win a, a title in the United States, did that as an amateur bowler, so he didn't receive any money for it. But he has also won another PBA tournament last summer to qualify for the Firestone. And if he can win here, he'll save Mark Baker. Ricky Corona, first championship appearance. First shot, left lane. Mats Carlson, winner of two matches thus far. Big news today was the perfect 300 game by Pete McCordick. And Pete's right here. Pete, are you uh, not trembling now, are you? No, I'm a lot more relaxed now. Uh, it was, I was calmed down pretty much right afterwards. Uh, I had to, I wanted to get back into winning the matches, and, uh, but I just couldn't do it the second game. Well, as we see Ricky Corona, our tournament leader, who hasn't bowled on this pair in more than an hour, what were the changes in the lane condition, and even in the 300 game, Peter? There must have been a change. Yeah, the right lane hooked uh, at least a board or two more by the time we started the second game. I thought I made a good shot both in the when I left both four pins early in the match, and then uh, toward the end of the game, I made a couple of bad shots that cost me the match. Let's see if Corona can make that adjustment. And his first shot is a strike. Final match, 18,000 of the winner. Newcomer on the scene, Ricky Corona. Five-step delivery, high backswing, snaps that wrist, plants that left foot, starts off, strike on the right-hand lane. Corona must win to get a trip to the Firestone Tournament of Champions. Mats Carlson, who I said won a tournament as an amateur, also he won one as a pro. Four o'clock Eastern tomorrow, the AFC NFC Pro Bowl, live from Honolulu. Preceded by a nifty basketball game, the Rebels against the Auburn Tigers. Basketball and football, ABC Sports tomorrow. Chris, just as our 300 roller predicted, the right-hand lane finishes quite a bit. The left-hand lane is a little bit slicker. Corona figuring this left-hand lane is going to hook as much as the right-hand lane. And what happens, the head pin goes to the sideboard, knocks out the seven, the four, and the eight, but doesn't quite get the two pin. Corona has to make a, a, a adjustment on this left-hand lane. Easy spare. Spare for Corona, whose highest finish on the national tour was 15th in last year's St. Louis open. Mats Carlson, who is an avid soccer player, he played what they call third division soccer, which is one of the upper divisions in Europe. He was a midfielder and he said he got injured in his left knee, gave it up and continued his bowling and no doubt he has made the proper decision. Second for Carlson. We said the winner today, 18, the runner up 9,500. Watch Mott's from behind. This is a great shot. You see the high arm swing. See the movement of the hand, the old figure eight movement we used to see back in the older days of lacquer lane surfaces. The straight lift through the ball, about 10 revolutions, and drives all 10 pins in the pit. The match is even after two frames. All right, a week from today, Quaker State Open. John Odrobinick tries to defend his championship where he defeated Mark Roth last year. 
Here's Carlson by round. Remember, we bowled six rounds. The first three rounds, 18 games of qualifier. The last three rounds, 24 games match play. Important double for Carlson here in our final match of the Greater Los Angeles Open in Torrance. Leading by 10 pins and the tournament leader, Corona, is up. His parents are here. His sister is here. There's Teresa Corona, Ricky's mom. And there's Terry, his sister. Corona hit the right hand lane the first frame. Listen to this crowd with that eight pin. We've only seen one other eight pin so far today, and that was a solid eight by left by. Now watch this pin action. This is really important. Watch the ball enter the one, three, and watch the five pin get driven straight back off the eight. Here it goes. Now we saw the one, the three. Now watch the action of the five pin. Boy, oh boy. See that five should go right back into the eight. Too much power for Corona. Corona, we asked him the difference between amateur and professional bowling. Well, I think the biggest difference I've found so far is that the stakes are a lot higher and the pressure is much greater. In uh, junior bowling, we were competing mainly for trophies. In college bowling, it was team-oriented, so I had the support of four other guys behind me. Now I'm on my own, and the pressure is a lot greater, and it gives me a lot more things to think about. The former collegiate All-American bowler, University of California, Berkeley. Two, four. That was a key shot. A little lack of experience showing up there. Remember what our Pete McCordick said when we spoke with him. He says the right-hand lane's finishing a couple more boards than the left. So look at Corona's game. He started on the right, got a strike, hit light on the left-hand lane, came up solid in the pocket again in the third on the right-hand lane, did not make the adjustment. The adjustment for Ricky Corona would have to be move your feet two or three boards to the right on the approach to get only more angle to the pocket. He'll have to make that move. Ricky Corona, who has a... Bachelor's degree in social sciences from the University of California, Berkeley. More of this final after this. I'm Ed Marinero, and I'm going to talk to you about Miller High Life. But first, I wanted to talk to the people who make it. It's a natural process. No shortcuts. We don't cut corners. It's regular malt, Ed. Ingredient for most beers. It's dark roasted barley malt. This is what makes our beer nice and dark. You really can't see the difference. We have people that pride in their work, therefore we get a quality product. You can see the clearness and the purity of it. And I like to see what I'm drinking. <laughs> I met a lot of good people, proud people, who really care about what they do. Now, is that the American way, or what? Why are you in and out of bed, hating your cold, wondering how many sneezes you sneezed, looking for something to do until you can rest, trying to be brave, Wishing you had a nickel for every cough. <laughs> Spending the night with your cold, waiting for relief that never comes. Why? When there's NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head, fever. So you can rest medicine. From Vicks, of course. Mats Carlson has just delivered uh, his first shot in the fourth frame. And he has left the 3-6-10 in a very close match for the championship here in Torrance, California. Mott's needs to convert this spare to stay 10 pins ahead in the match. Mott started the game with a spare in the first frame, struck in the second and third frames, has gone high, avoided the split, but a cross lane for the 3-6-10 in the fourth. Ten-pen difference here. Carlson leading by that margin. We mentioned his opponent, Corona, college graduate. The man that shot a perfect 300 game today, Pete McCordick, attended the University of Houston. So more and more we're getting bowlers out of the collegiate ranks. The rosin bag being held by Ricky Corona and his bowling glove. That for a good grip, that rosin, very important. Mott's Carlson, fifth frame, leads by 10. Carlson, 
Jackson, who defeated McCordick 234 to 206 after Pete shot that perfect 300 game, and then he defeated John Gant to get to this spot in the final. So now Corona trailing by 10. You see a strike and three spares. Shooting in the fifth frame. Next week, the Quaker State Open. Grand Prairie. Texas, that is. Four pin. Ricky slightly high on the right-hand lane. Now watch the action, the two pin, right over here. As it goes to the sideboard, it crosses over and should take out the four and seven, not to be. Knocks out the seven, leaves the four. Corona with a conversion here will only trail by 11 pins at the halfway mark. Following on Wide World today, World Cup Gymnastics, Men's Downhill World Championship, and a report on the America's Cup. Chris, I watched that America's Cup, and it's really, really interesting. That's the best of seven series. Just phenomenal. Uh, we wish Dennis Conner all the luck in his quest to bring it back to the United States. Ricky Corona taking one of his three allotted re-racks in the championship game. He trails by 11 pins, six frame. Needs to make an adjustment on this lane. This is an important shot to him. A seven. He made the adjustment, but just not quite enough. He leaves the seven pin as he trails by 12. Now watch the footwork of Corona. Methodical, very smooth. Watch as he hits the foul line, slides right in north, close to the foul line, from trailing right foot. The action of the head pin takes out the four, five, but doesn't quite get the seven. Corona not beating himself, keeping the ball around the pocket. It's a close match. Deliberate bowlers Mats Carlson of Sweden. Our international bowler and another international wide world of sports. Men's downhill world championship from Switzerland, World Cup gymnastics, the ladies from Peking, China, and a report on the America's Cup. Carlson to take a 22 pin lead with a strike. Six, eight, and nine, ten. A quizzical look, he gives the lane. He looked down at his target, where he had thrown the ball. Now watch the action as the head pin is driven, drives out all the pins on the left-hand side. He leaves the six, nine, and ten spares. Gets a good break on the left side of the lane. Got to avoid the chop of the six off either the nine or ten. Mats Carlson leads this match by 12 pins, four frames to go against a very tough newcomer to the PBA Tour, Ricky Corona. Carlson, six feet, one inches tall, 170 pounds, or for the European scales, approximately 80 kilos in the metric system. Up on the lane, he has hit so well. Lane 13 here at Gable House Bowl in Torrance, California. strike in the seventh frame. We're in the final match for the Greater Los Angeles Open. More after this. The Professional Bowlers Tour is brought to you by Firestone, America's home for car service with over 1,700 locations coast to coast. By Ebonite International, where advanced technology has striking results. And by True Value Hardware Stores. True Value, more than just a store. It's their way of doing business. True value hardware, it's more than a name.
here's a bargain that you'll really warm up to. This compact West Bend Hot Pot for just $7.88. It heats water fast, so you can warm up with your favorite instant drinks or soup. In February, get the West Bend Hot Pot for just $7.88. Look for the Bargain of the Month banner at most True Value hardware stores. Jack Rafferty proves you just can't tell. The fellas that I work with are pretty perceptive. They don't miss too much. No one had picked up the fact that the gray was gone from my hair. It was that simple. No one realized I was using the Grecian formula 16. It was so gradual. The Grecian has a natural look about it. It's not a dye, it's a, it's, it's a clear liquid. The questions most asked by the fellows at work were, what are you doing, you working out, are you losing weight? And unless I told them I was using the Grecian formula 16, they never would have guessed. Grecian formula 16, you just can't tell who's using it. Power your business software into a new dimension with the Tandy 3000 computer. Important data is only milliseconds away from an advanced 286 microprocessor that delivers high-speed performance in PC compatibility. You can add up to 12 million bytes of memory and expand by sharing that power with others in your office. Discover the Tandy 3000 family of value-priced business computers at Radio Shack Computer Centers. Same-day coverage of the Men's Downhill World Championship. Also, Women Gymnastics Greats. Plus, an America's Cup special on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Next. Behind the scores, a tournament leader, Ricky Corona. While we were away, he had a strike in the seventh, and then he left a 7-10, unfortunately. Watch the action. Apparent good hit. Important in the match. Boom. He hits light. Saws that five-pin straight back. Here comes the head pin. Not to be the 7-10 split, he trails by 26 pins. Carlson in the driver's seat can extend to 36 with another strike. Big double for Mats Carlson. He's in his third match, a victory over McCordick, who shot that perfect 300 game in our first match and won $100,000. And then over John Gant to get to the finals against Ricky Corona. Re-rack coming up. Each player is allowed three re-racks in the championship. Mats Carlson right now in the driver's seat. Gauntlet in hand can just about put away Ricky Corona with another strike. Carlson going at a 2.17 pace. Corona, the best he can do is 2.01. This, this shot here could tell the whole story of this match, but not the whole story of the day. Pete McCordick has won the day. adding to his total another strike for Carlson but here's the man with the striped shirt profile view Pete McCordick 12 in a row in the first match the first 300 games since 1974 in a television final and Bo having done quite a few firsts in sports casting like the first sudden death NFL championship game this is my first 300 on live television mine also Chris the all the predecessors were in the 60s and early 70s and the tournament later with a strike in the ninth frame. Winner to receive uh, the championship trophy here, 18,000. Runner-up, 9,500. Ricky Corona, nothing has gone well for him today. He struck in the first frame, was light in the second, solid eight in the third, light again in the fourth. Then from the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth frames, he's kept the ball around the pocket. Nothing good happening for him. Disaster in the eighth frame as he left what we call the swishing 7-10. That was his undoing in his quest for his first PBA title. The best he can do is 201. Carlson has the match well in hand. Obviously disappointed, but you'll see more of this young man who was just excellent all week long. A crowd thriller. They were behind him. Motts wins his third title, his second as a pro. The Greater Los Angeles Open. And as you said, Nelson, the big winner today was Pete McCartick of Houston, Texas. 14 years on the tour, never a win, but a perfect 300 game and 100,000 today.
Ricky Corona's last ball. A strike would give him 181. And of course, not enough. His first try for a title, which would have been his first. Ricky Corona, we will of course see him. And Mats Carlson of Gothenburg, Sweden has won his second professional title here at Gable House where a perfect 300 game was shot by Pete McCordick of Houston, Texas. We congratulate Carlson and McCordick. 235 to 181. There is Mickey Kogan, and here is Pete McCordick, $100,000 richer because of a perfect 300 game. Here is that big shot. Okay, 12 in a row, the follow through all the way, and then... Look at the crowd, Pete McCordick on 300 live television. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the best gears from around the globe in the Men's Downhill World Championship. World Cup Gymnastics 